Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Tom Spark and welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to do an updated video on Netflix, the current status of, you know, what VPN I'm using to unblock Netflix and some of the ones I've been recommending in the past. Hey guys, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to check out vpntierlist.com where you can check out the fully complete tier list 1.0 and the work in progress tier list 2.0. Not only that, but there's a link on here to go to my subreddit, um, subscribe to the subreddit, come participate in the community. You could even have a chance to win free access to a paid VPN. All right, back to the video. So guys, formerly on the channel, I was making a lot of videos testing out Torgar VPN and for a brief period of time, you didn't even need the streaming bundle and it was working fine with Netflix. It unblocked the Japanese version of Netflix, US version of Netflix, and other versions of Netflix, which was really cool since it was only around $5 a month or $30 a year with my promo code. Only bad thing is now, unfortunately, that was a little short lived. Uh, TorGuard is currently, as of right now, not working with Netflix with just a standard plan. If you do keep one of it, use TorGuard with Netflix, you are going to need what is called their streaming bundle. This is their most reliable way to unblock Netflix, which gives you two unique streaming IPs, which are sort of like residential or dedicated IPs. You can pick from six different regions. You, you can um, purchase it as a core package here with code Netflix, and it's around $11 a month or $60 a year. If you already purchased TorGuard, you can kind of add on IPs and stuff like that if you want as well. Otherwise, another option, and that is my preferred method of as of right now, is WeVPN. WeVPN has been working to unblock Netflix as well. Um, it was a little bit buggy this last week, but now I think it's at a pretty good state to be able to recommend it to you guys as probably one of the best streaming options out there. The cool thing about WeVPN is you don't need to purchase any add-ons or bundles or anything like that, and it should just work natively. It also has DNS options, which you can use on your consoles and stuff like that. And as of right now, it is working on PC, um, Android TV, and those platforms too. To show you guys that working, I have it loaded up right here with the US version of Netflix. Um, I am connected to TorGuard to show it's not working right there, um, unfortunately, um, with the base plan, but it is working with the streaming bundle. We're gonna load up WeVPN right here to show you that it can unblock the US version of Netflix. Um, so it is um, connected, we'll wait just a couple seconds, and then reload the page. And then since we're already searching for Green Zone at the top there, you can now see Green Zone, which means it is unblocking US version of Netflix. It didn't really have to do anything special. Just connect to whatever server you want and it should unblock it. If you want to unblock certain regions, just connect to that server, which is the region you want to unblock. The good thing about WeVPN is that it's also very affordable. Um, you could get a really good deal on it. Use code TOMSPARK, you could get 10% off. Here's the bundle that you can get. It's around $70 for two years, $40 um, for one year one month plan and all these plans you can get 10% off. So if you put that in here, um, as you can see, you're getting that discount code, um, $7 off for two years. $62 for two years is excellent. One of the best um, prices out there, includes 10 simultaneous devices, socks, proxy, and all those things cool too. So anyways, guys, that's uh, just a little update video on my current options and recommendations, and I'll see you again very soon.